The news is brought to you by the Journal Kentucky Lexington Monitor, jklm.us, on the World Wide Web, jklm.us. All right. Any member of the council have no questions? Okay, council member Blutes. Mr. Webb, thank you for for being here and, and for uh, and for this update. Uh, <clears throat> I wonder if you could tell us a little bit more about the about the status of the, of the funding uh, for the for the project. Earlier on, uh, you know, uh, we were told that the funding is in place. You say this afternoon that you still believe that a viable financing plan is in place. Uh, and and I wonder if you could elaborate on that a, that a bit. Uh, I would elaborate. I would say that it's not only a financing alternative that is in place, it is probably the only financing alternative that is in place. As you know, and Mr. Gray knows, and others involved in development or, or construction, virtually every major mixed-use or commercial project in the world is on hold right now. We were fortunate in that we signed these agreements on June the 9th of last year. This was before the major catastrophic collapse of the financial markets that occurred back in September, October. So we were fortunately fortunate there that we were under the gun and, and got this in place. Uh, we dealt with an American partner of the international investor who is also involved who passed away. That was unfortunate because of the fact that uh, as there's been lots of concern and criticism expressed about the fact that this man died without a will. In Europe, most of these countries do not that is not a common practice to have a will. There is automatic succession in those in those countries, and that means literally that if you have sons or daughters and your heirs, they automatically take uh, their, take your rights to your estate, subject to its liabilities. In this case, one of the liabilities is obviously a two hundred and fifty million dollar commitment that was made to Lexington, Kentucky. Um, those commitments were unconditional. These documents were unconditional. Unconditional. They were prepared by one of the largest law firms in Los Angeles who specialize in, in, in such transactions. So on June the 9th of last year, that was concluded. And everything was proceeding according to plan. The, we were assured, and as uh, I think the last time on September the 5th, that the money was escrowed in a Swiss bank and that it was there and available for us when, if and when the project was, uh, began construction. The first of those draws was to occur in September of last year. Unfortunately, on September the 29th, we were notified of the death of this person. And unfortunately, uh, to our surprise, uh, the heirs were not signatories on those bank accounts. So consequently, under very strict banking laws that are in place, and very stringent, and all of you are pretty well aware of that, that uh, without a without court approval or a probate, or a probate order, or what over there a judge is called a notary, are not empowered to sign those accounts to disperse our funds. So consequently, we have been trying diligently during the period since to get that done. There was a hearing that was conducted in December, and that basically uh, allowed the heirs to come in and submit their position. It, uh, it gave the public an opportunity to lodge any, any uh, obligations or whatever against the, would be claims against the estate, and it also allowed the notary to itemize the assets of the estate. That was done. That process then requires 90 days in which for the public to react. That, I understood, uh, occurred on April 13th. Then after that, once the notary publishes his hearings, then after that there is a 30-day comment period in which anybody that has an adverse or hostile interest against the estate can react. Uh, that is supposed to come in the next couple of weeks. That basically is going to determine where we are and allow the heirs to do what they have to do, including accepting the estate. I was in, in Switzerland meeting with those folks last week. Uh, the trustee was there. Uh, all of the parties to these agreements and their other interests that also have projects that are affected by this are most anxious to get this behind them, and we still think that that can be done in the next 60 to 90 days at most. So we're asking that everyone be patient. To stand by. We were as disappointed and surprised by this as everyone else. Obviously, we a lot of work on this has been done. A lot of expense has been gone to to get this this block in a position to go. We live here. We 
we are we have major investments in downtown we are equally as concerned as all of you about the appearance of downtown particularly in light of the upcoming games so consequently all we're saying is that let's see what happens and then we can talk about vice mayor as to whether or not we sod the block seed the block straw the block backfill the block or do whatever but it would be a major waste to go in there and spend three hundred thousand dollars in the next couple of months here and then turn around and take it right back out and uh, so consequently as far as we know everything else is in place the permits as i told you have been lifted the uh the architects are ready to go they have submitted the plans for the uh, building inspection and enforcement people up here to begin the review process for the plans and it would be our intent as soon as we get this first draw is to go ahead and start digging that hole and come out of the ground and it's going to be 24 months to build it that's just the reality of it now there's been concern expressed about what's the impact of that on the games our commitment is to this community that we will minimize that impact if any uh, it will be a construction project but this for WSKY TV News Lexington on YouTube. Read the Holy Lexington Empire, a community struggles under sanctuary city status and a still small voice. The only book proving that our current economic crisis has been caused by the Vatican II decree for open borders and high taxes to support third world nation building that was adopted by Washington and exported globally through the United Nations. A still small voice. Go to skybridgepress.com and click on the books link. A still small voice.